If you've been to a wedding in like the last decade, you've probably gotten one of those like coasters or keychains, some sort of trinket that had a bride and groom's initial or their wedding date on. And like, what do you do with those things? Do you just like keep them forever in like a keepsake box? Like, what do you do with that? So edible wedding favors have become a thing. Most recent weddings that I've been to, they all have edible wedding favors, but they're a little basic because it's so much money to do so many wedding favors. But my question is, if you had an extravagant budget, could you get a really extravagant edible wedding favor that would be beautiful? Now we tried this before and they didn't understand the assignment and I think it was kind of my fault. I said extravagant over the top and I feel like we had just, just a tad bit basic. It just wasn't that level that I was hoping that they would go. So one, I put together another mood board and oh my God, the colors, the vibe, the mood. I mean, I love the last mood board, but this one, I am so in love with it. Then I scoured the internet for every kind of like high end, extravagant, super fancy, beautiful dessert. I put together a whole board that I sent every single baker. I gave them the mood board, but then I sent them this entire board that has all these super extravagant desserts. And like you can see the level of detail, the level of effort that they put into it. Mini cakes, hello. I want them to just know the level of detail and expectations that I'm looking for for this. So there, there's no gray area here. Last time it was all gray area. Nobody knew what they was doing. My fault. This time the assignment is clear. <laughs> And I said that I wanted the flavors to match the extravagantness of the design. So I'm looking for really delicious treats, but also like elevated flavors, something that's gonna wow me. Let's bring out the first favor. I'm super, super excited for these. Ready, ready, ready? Yep. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, they're the cake travels. Okay, at least this time, they're actually like the geometric hearts. Last time I wanted like geometric heart cake truffles, and I got little bonbon chocolates, like an assorted box of chocolates. It's just very not what I'd asked for. Yay for that. I feel like the colors really match the vibe. It's got that like kind of gold, those like pastels in there. I'm a little sad that they're all the same. I think I would have liked to see if you're gonna do multiple favors, not just do different colors, but maybe different flowers. Additionally, there's a couple things just as a cake decorator that I can see. These aren't handmade flowers. Like this would have been fondant that would have been pushed into an impression mold and popped out. At least they did go through the effort of hand coloring each one. I love, love, love how metallic this is. It's really hard to cover something in complete gold to have that complete shine. The blue is my favorite. The color is stunning, but that little hint of gold that's on the edges is really beautiful. Last time we just said $30 for one favor. This time we said do whatever budget you want. So for these, she charged $50, which I mean is $10 per one. That's pretty high end, I would say. So we've got strawberry, unicorn blend, chocolate hazelnut, chocolate with caramel, and then cream cheese with pistachio. I'm gonna try the cream cheese with the pistachio first. I'm just gonna say like already, I'm super impressed by these, like compared to the last desserts we tried, because they're already so much more detailed than the first video. Very, very sweet because it's white chocolate on the outside, which is a sweet chocolate. And then it has sweet icing and sweet cake. It's really good, but I feel like it's missing that balance a little bit. I think if they did dark chocolate with some of them, that's a little bit, bit more bitter so it can counter it or do something really tart on the inside, but it's still really tasty. I'm gonna try the unicorn blend because like, what is unicorn blend? The other things with these that I was noticing, you can see the seam along the sides of it that I'm not loving. And I feel like the pearls, they should have put it on with the color of chocolate they used to make the heart so you don't see these big blobs on it. Wow, that is fun and colorful. Mm cotton candy. Oh, bubble gum. I don't like that <laughs> at all, but kids will love it. Last one, chocolate salted caramel. 
Okay, that one is my favorite. That one is delicious. This is the only one that I've been like, I wanna take a second bite of. I feel like I wanna give them like a seven out of 10 because each one is a different flavor. That's a lot of work, way to go with that. The colors are beautiful. They've got a lot going on, but they're a little bit sweet. I feel like I want a little bit more detail, so I'm gonna go with a seven. Let's bring out the next one. Oh my God. Okay, so you love this one in its box. I think I need to take it out. This is very I just cool. wanted you to see the packaging. No, the packaging is really pretty. So this one is our sugar cookies, which I'm super excited for. How does this thing open? I think there's a zipper. Actually, if you flip it over, there's underneath the Velcro is some zipper. <laughs> Why'd you look at the bottom? I was trying <laughs> Were you looking like for a pull cord or anything else? I was trying to see if it was like tape from the bottom or something. Kevin, just... Okay. Oh, it's a bouquet. Stop it! Kevin, you're getting pretty good at staging them. He took them all out of the box. He put them on the wood slab here. They look really pretty. Oh, okay. I love your ingenuity. Like the little <laughs> lens cap. The lens cap and the electrical tape and to electrical hold it up tape. on an angle. Yeah. So I feel like the overall aesthetic is really there. I feel like all of the colors are there. I think she went more pinks and purples where there's a lot more oranges and reds, I think, going on. But I do really love them. All of the flowers are really beautiful. But for hand piping flowers, Hold on. I don't know how to get across to you that your perspective is not our perspective. <laughs> this is like an ongoing issue. This is a forever <laughs> issue. Lori would be like, hey, look at this on my phone. <laughs> what do you think of that? And I just like don't point in your direction at yeah. all. It's yeah. like whatever I can see, I assume the world can see. Yeah. Um, these flowers, these ones right here. Oh, that's here. great. I can yes, see that really they're well. They're really beautiful. <laughs> There's not a crazy amount of detail. I'd love to see a little bit more, of course, but like I'm the person who's always just like, Give me more detail. Of these ones, this one is my favorite. I feel like it's really clean cut and I love the little center there. This is just beautiful. I feel like it really matches the overall aesthetic. This one looks a tad messy compared to the others, but it's not too bad. But these two, these two are winning. Like I love these so much. They're stunning. I'm always impressed when people can like nail hand lettering like that. So I think they're all the same flavor. So I only need to try one of them this time. It's hard. Royal icing is very sweet. I think it's just a simple sugar cookie. I feel like I would love to see some lemon zest in there. Like same with the tart. I feel like tartness helps cut sweetness. So to have like a lemon zest sugar cookie and you can flavor royal icing just with extract, then you could have added some hint of flavor in there so it's not just a sweet sugar cookie. But overall, it's a pretty good cookie and I love the look of them. So I think I'm gonna give them an 8.5 out of 10. Okay, let's bring out the next one. Before I bring out the next one, I want to thank Switchcraft for sponsoring this video. You guys know that I am big on games and all things magical. Well, Switchcraft is the perfect combination of both. It's a magical mystery game where you're in the driver's seat picking from over 400 choices to shape the gameplay. You follow Bailey, who's a witch in the Witchcraft Academy and her best friend goes missing. Personally, I think the chancellor looks really shifty, but you'll have to let me know who you think is responsible. In order to solve the mystery and advance in the story, you play through over a thousand magical match three levels and cast spells to help level up. Even match three component of the game is magical themed with enchanted frogs and potions, magical cards that you can use to help get through the level. I love that it's a fun story to play through with a strong female lead, but the best part is that has really inclusive representation with 85 characters from a wide variety of cultural backgrounds, LGBTQIA plus and disabilities. Thank you so much to Switchcraft for sponsoring this video. You guys can download the game for free using the link in my description. Ready? Yep. Oh my God, these are huge. These aren't mini cakes. <laughs> Last time when we got a mini cake, it was about like a two inch cake. Holy lots of cake. Now this one was the most amount of money. I think it was $35 per mini cake. It was $140 altogether. Wait, that's our wedding date. Do you want to open them up? Yeah, let's reset. Now that we got them out of the packaging, the packaging is beautiful by the way. Like I love these little stands and the boxes. I can't get over how big they are. I love that she went this far, but at the same time, it's like when you think favor, it's too big. This is too big for a personal little favor that you're gonna give at a wedding table. But the, the colors are pretty good. I think she kinda did get that. And I do love that all of the flowers are hand piped. It's just the details in the flowers aren't quite there. This cake, it's not for me. This like vintage style is coming back and I wish it wouldn't. This is more me. 
I love the front for it. It is very on trend. It's got this beautiful lace pattern on the front. The fan is made out of paper though, not chocolate. That should be noted. It did fall off and some of the flowers like fell off too, which I was surprised about. So these were all probably hand piped on parchment paper, but because they're just placed on, I feel like they're not stuck on there the best. I just think there's a lot going on. I think that she could have scaled this down and just done one really beautifully detailed cake or two, even these two. Like other than them being different colors, they're essentially the same cake. I think it's just a little bit too busy. Let's try these two. It feels like cutting a full size cake. Mmm. That's a good cake. The icing. What do, you, what do you got going on there? It tastes like vanilla, but it tastes tart. Just throw me off. But it's good, it's good. I love the fresh raspberries. That was a good cake. Okay, now this is the chocolate cake with all the peanut butterness. Mmm, wow. It's like, not a super chocolatey cake, but it's a moist kind of like brownie like I'm a fudgy cake, but it seems like it's got like chunks of buttercup in there with the peanut butter icing and it's not too sweet. It's like really well balanced. And you guys know I love anything with chocolate and peanut butter. I think her vanilla is just tart. Does that taste tart to me too? Her flavors are amazing. I think where she went wrong is just a little bit too much color. I think you need to be a little bit more selective and just maybe less flowers and maybe some more height to the cakes. That would help to bring some different dimension and, and the size a little, bit, a little bit smaller. But overall, I think she went through a lot of effort. So if I was just gonna look at this cake and rate on the flavors, I'd give her like a six. Cause I think the flavors are really good. And I think she's almost there. Like this is a very trendy cake. I really love this but I just feel like the flowers, they shouldn't be messy like and falling off like that. Ready for the next one? Yep. Smaller favor? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Come on in. One, two, three. Yep. Oh my gosh, they're mini. I was thinking they'd be full-size donuts, but the mini donuts are cute. I do have a question off the bat. What are all the flowers? They yes. look like baby's breath to me. They just look like baby's breath that have been dyed. But baby's breath is, slightly toxic and slightly poisonous and should never be used on food products. Slightly? Like I think you could pick it off and it'd be okay, but you should not eat baby's breath. So like I've put baby's breath on cakes before and people were like, whoa, 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 whoa. And like, thank you. Thank you people of the internet for always letting me know <laughs> what I'm possibly poisoning people. The cake slayer. That could be your criminal name. <laughs> Let's just assume for a second that it's not toxic. They're very pretty. I feel like she's relying a lot on the baby's breath to carry them through. And even these, these are just real roses that are stuck in them. Other than that, you essentially just have a dipped donut that a few of them have a impressed fondant leaf that's been painted gold and some spackling of gold. I feel like honestly, they could go for like a baby shower, a bridal shower or a wedding. The colors are slightly there. Some of these blush tones, it's like, yes. Some of these cream tones, yes. But then some of these other tones, I feel like are just kind of getting lost. The overall aesthetic, it's not really there. They're cute, but I feel like I was expecting a lot more detail. The hard thing is that when I look at the overall vibe of it, I think it's really pretty, but I do hate that they're just relying so solely on fresh flowers and possibly poisonous flowers to like carry the design. <laughs> I love the pause after poisonous flowers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think let's taste them. I feel like you're like, how contemplating, like, is this lady trying to kill me? <laughs> I think she said that these flavors were all old fashioned plain. It's an old fashioned plain donut. <laughs> It's hard, it's a good donut. It's not as moist as I would like. I told them I wanted the flavors to be as extravagant as the look of them. And Old Fashioned Plain isn't necessarily a leveled up extravagant flavor. So I feel like the taste of it's a mess. And I'm really just sad because like I was really excited for the donuts. Like there's a lot of stuff you could have dumped on with icing or fondant. And all of the bakers were very talented and had lots of diverse skills. So I knew that they'd be able to accept the challenge. All that in mind, I think I'm gonna give them a four. It's just missing a couple marks there. Got it all set up? Yep. Okay. Oh, okay, well this is definitely the aesthetic. I love that. I feel like this, just as a favor, is a beautiful favor. That's really nice. So I feel like when you look at this bundle, that is exactly like what we're looking at, especially with this big arch. The biggest thing for me that I'm seeing, because I, I do love the overall look of it. I really do, but. 
with me there's usually a but and that's that the thing that i'm loving most about it is something that's completely detachable. I love the look of this because that is definitely the aesthetic, but if this was missing from it, it would lose a lot of the look of the wedding from it. And I think that these are all one color. These are all one color. We've got lots of other colors going on that we're seeing in this, but we're not seeing in the macaroons themselves. With that being said, they're beautiful. Like the amount of detail that we've got going on here on a macaroon, which don't typically have a ton of details on them, that is beautiful. These are just flowers that would have been in an impression mold. So I feel like the details are there, but they're also not like bringing a lot of that wedding aesthetic that I was looking for if you took these apart. I don't know if these are just supposed to be for tasting because there's nothing on them. So those two are in a kind of more simple box with okay. a card on them with flavor names. Okay, and pistachio and raspberry, yes. right? Let's try them. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a big macaroon person. I feel like it's a lot of chewiness that I don't love in macaroons. The macaroon cookie part is so big that the filling is kind of small for it. And this one's supposed to be pistachio, but it has raspberry. I thought I tasted raspberry. Mm, okay. In the middle of it, it's got a pistachio kind of filling there. That's really good. But I feel like with the two cookies, there's just too much cookie and there's not enough filling. It's a little bit too much on the sweet side for me, but I think the flavors work work really well. Let's try the, the raspberry. This one has pistachios too. So they're both raspberry and pistachio. Just one's more heavier pistachio, one's more heavy raspberry. I think that's what we've got going on. Mmm. That's a sweet cookie. But the fresh raspberries, the fresh raspberries are winning it for me. I'm gonna give them a nine. They're so close. I feel like they're tad on the sweet side, but that's personal preference. And I feel like I would have liked to seen some of this brought inwards. But honestly, overall, they've got a lot of details on them. They're very beautiful. They've got good elevated flavors. I'm gonna give them a nine. Well done. Overall, I'm really impressed at like where we got in this video compared to the first video. I feel like everyone elevated everything so much more. My favorite flavors were definitely the cakes or the chocolate truffles, specifically the caramel. Um, those were both really good, but the favorite like overall look I love the cookies. What do you guys like best? Who do you think nailed it? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let me know if I should do this video again. I have other bakeries that I'd love to try. I've got so many ideas. So let me know if you guys should do this again. Love you. And thank you so much again to Switchcraft for sponsoring this video. You guys can download the game for free using the link in my description.